Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Talk. So let's talk about some big news that's coming to DSUO. Over on the forums, Spittle Yen Sanderson, he posted a new thread entitled What's Next for DSUO? New Plans for the Future Episodes. I started reading this and this is going to change things a lot. And I really wanted to get your guys' opinion on what you think about it. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? And I'll tell you guys what I think about it. So, the quick rundown is none of this is going to take place until Game Update 47 and after Halls of Power Part 2. Um, so, pretty much everything's going to stay the same up until after that. Um, the one thing that's going to be different is... With Game Update 47, um, Marks of Victory are going to replace Marks of Fury and Marks of Triumph. And symbols, like symbols of power, symbols of light, those are going to be eliminated uh, completely. Which is kind of interesting since they just put those in a few DLC back. So it's kind of interesting to see them cut that out so soon. But they have been talking about these changes for some time now. And it recently has been added to the game with the marketplace, how they have separated the DLCs, the parts of the DLCs out on the marketplace. You can pick up power separately from DLC now, which is very cool for people that may want one bit, but don't really want the rest. And it's just not worth their money. Um, if you're a member, a legendary member, you get everything anyway, so... Um, this is, that's not going to change with these changes. So let's get into the big changes. The big changes are and normally with DLC, they put it out in a big chunk. Normally, um, we normally get like, you know, Amazon Fury part two and stuff. So you got raids, you got alerts, you got duos. Well, I mean, did you get a duo from that one? I can't remember it right now, but anyway, they're going to start splitting that content up. We're not going to get really less content. In fact, you could say we're getting more, um, but that's to be decided. Um, so thankfully, they put this fantastic uh, diagram here, kind of lays it out. So um, the green here is a three-month period, a quarter, and then the blue here is another quarter. So in the first month, we'll get a raid, we'll get a duo. Um, and then in the second month, we'll get an alert and we'll get an elite alert and the elite alert is just like an elite raid. Um, it's harder content for, uh, it's a four man hard content. So I think that's going to be something that's going to be great, especially for players that are looking for a challenge. Um, alerts really haven't been the place to look for that. Not necessarily. Um, so this could be a change for that. And I think uh, a lot of people will probably like that. Um, along with that, you'll get a solo. And then in the third month, you'll get a raid, and an elite raid, and a duo. Um, one of the really big things about this, too, is they're going to be changing how gear and rewards are. Normally, when a DLC comes out, we know all of the gear that's going to come out. Um, you can get some vendor gear, probably. You can get some gear from the raids, the elite raid now. Um, duos, alerts, all that good stuff. You can get gear that way and level up your character, but they are changing it. So in the first, first month when we get a raid and we get a duo, they are only going to release the chest, back, legs, and waist. Um, vendor gear and rare gear. Then, in the second month, they are going to, when they release the alert and the elite alert and the solo, we're going to get weapon hands, uh, head and feet with the vendor gear and the rare gear. But, we're also going to get set gear. And that's going to be chest, back, legs. And then in the third month, it'll be the ha head, hands, foot, and shoulder for the set gear. Now, set gear is special once you've gotten enough of the gear you get a set bonus um it doesn't really say on here exactly what that bonus is i'm supposing it's just 
uh, stat wise and level wise. Um, but once you get that set, you will get a bonus from that. So that's something cool to look forward to. And what they're kind of trying to do is they're trying to make more interesting drops for us and a better, more simplified way for people to get gear. Normally when a, a raid or a DLC comes out, a lot of players, I think probably are hit with the thought they, they were just overwhelmed at how much the cost is for the gear, how much work they got to put into it. But this kind of breaks it down for you. So in the first month, you can really focus on the big pieces, your chest, your legs, your waist, your back. Those are the ones you're going to want to focus on. And then in the second month, you can work on your weapon, your hand, hands, your head, your feet. And in the last month, you can focus on the last few things, your rings, your face, your neck. That, that kind of stuff is really cool. I really, really enjoy that. I think that's going to help out a lot of people. Um, for somebody like me that doesn't get a ton of time to play the game, this really focuses my efforts in one direction. Um, so I really like that. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Do you think splitting up the gear like that is good, is bad? Um, another thing with this, how they're dividing it up, the it's going to... I think it's going to help out. Um, I know a lot of times when they put the DLC out, there are the pro players, they hammer through the content after a month, they got nothing to do. And um, a lot of people, I think, complain about that, that they've run out of things to do so quickly, they've hammered through it. So I think splitting up the content will let people appreciate the story more, especially and it'll give them more content in the long run. And I think this will really help out the game. Um, a few other things I wanted to talk about. Something that I'm not really sure I can get behind as much. But it's worth talking about. Um, so with the changeover of Marks, uh, Marks of Fury and Marks of Triumph being coming, Marks of Victory and the Elimination of Symbols, all the, the tiers are going to be running on Marks of Victory. Along with that, though, they are going to be changing up how content works. So, it's going to go by tiers. The idea, let me break it down, is... um. The co content that you can get marks from has to be relevant to your combat rating. So, for instance, if you are a combat rating 70 to 83, the only content that's going to be eligible for you to get marks from are tier 4 content. Kind of the cool part about it is you're going to have 12 pieces of content once this kicks in that you're eligible for. But the thing that I don't exactly like about it is, is I feel like it's similar to the seasonal events. You're kind of, when you go into the new seasonal events, you're locked at 30, 32 CR, I think it is, or maybe 34 CR. So say you're a 114, or is that right? Yeah, 114. Um, you get dropped down, you lose so much stats and you have to bang your head against these seasonal events that you've done hundreds of times just to get those marks, those clovers, those leaves, you know what I'm talking about. This, I feel like it's, I understand the reasoning for it, um, but... <laughs> For players that have been around a long time, it pushes them away from being involved in the earlier content. Um, unless they're going in to get base items or styles, it kind of locks them out of those. And so, sometimes when you're a new player, it's kind of nice to get a overleveled player in there. And I think that's going to separate everyone a little bit. 
Let me know what you guys think. I understand where it's coming from that limiting you to relevant content will give you a longer playtime. You will enjoy the content more that you're focusing on and you'll be more involved in that. And that's totally understandable. But I think just for leveling players and stuff, this is not um, not going to help how hard it is to pug or get a group together as it is. Um, I think it just pushes more players away from earlier content, personally. Um, but that's kind of the breakdown, the big things. If you guys want to go and read up on all this, there's a ton more stuff on this. But that's the simplified version. We're going to get more content more often. We're going to get gear divided up um, so you can focus your efforts and marks are changing and your CR is the most important thing uh, to you leveling. Those are the, the breakdown of it, pretty much. I think this will be a great change for the game. I think this is going to breathe a little bit more new life into the game. I'm really excited with the things that I've been seeing coming out of Daybreak since... They have left Sony and they're not SOE anymore. They're doing so many more cool things. And in this, they talk about if they can do monthly content, they can do more stuff with WB and DC, which I would love them to do. I would love to see more interesting stories after they get through the trilogies, more interesting gear, more, just more of it. And I'd love to see DC get involved, stuff that's mixed in with the comics. So hopefully this is a great change for the game. I hope it is. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you all next time.